Hey, how's it going everyone? I'm Jen Person, and on today's Firecast, I'm going to use Cloud Functions for Firebase to respond to authentication events. In my last Firecast, I talked about a photo sharing app where users upload images that then appear in a grid. I want to keep track of who is using the app and control access to storage and the database, so I'll use Firebase Authentication. Users will have their own profiles which contain their email and profile picture. I want to create a profile whenever a new user is authenticated. It will contain the user's email and profile photo. That way, when the user uploads an image, it will be posted with their profile information, even if they have yet to customize their profile. Certainly, this work can be handled in the client, but Cloud Functions enable me to offload this work, meaning less processing power, less battery usage, and less data usage client side. Plus, I won't have to duplicate the same process for my code in iOS, Android, and web. I can use Cloud Functions to create this default profile by triggering events when a new user is created. I'll write a function that's triggered on creation of a new user, and then use the admin SDK to populate the user's profile in the database. I'll also create a function that's triggered on deletion of a user, which marks a user's profile as deleted. I do this using two functions provided as part of the Cloud Functions library functions.auth.user.onCreate and functions.auth.user.onDelete. As the name suggests, onCreate is triggered when a user is created, which can happen in the client upon creating a new account, adding from the Firebase console, or importing from the command line. OnDelete is triggered when a user is removed, which again can be done from the client, the Firebase console, or the command line. I'll then use the admin SDK to write the data to the database. The admin SDK provides unrestricted access to the database. If you'd like to know more about the admin SDK, then check out the documentation link below. All right, let's dive in. As always, I start by requiring the Firebase Functions module. I'll also require the Firebase Admin module, because I will need this to access the database to write the user's default profile. I'll also initialize the admin SDK in the usual way. I'll create a reference to the root of the database. Now, I'll export a function called createUserAccount. It will use the functions.auth.user method, which registers a cloud function to handle user authentication events. I'll call the onCreate method on functions.auth.user. The onCreate method receives an event object that describes the new user that was added. When a new user is authenticated, a user record object is created. A user record represents one authenticated user. It contains multiple properties, including display name, which is a string or null, email, a nullable string, photo URL, a string or null, and UID, a string. I can access the list of user attributes contained in the user record object through event.data. Here's how I make that happen. I'll access the user's UID and email to add their default profile in the database. Not all users will have an email to add to their default new user profile. For example, users who sign up with Twitter are not required to provide an email. In that case, email will be null, and the key value pair will not be added to the database. I'll get the user's photo from the user record's photo URL property. I'll use a null coalescing operator here, since photo URL may be null. But I still want the user to have a profile picture. If photo URL is null, then I'll use this default image here. So I have constants to hold the user's UID, email, and profile photo. Now, I'll use those values to add the user's profile to the database. For that, I'll need to use the admin SDK. I'll create a new reference to a path in the database using the user's UID as the key. Here we go. I'll create my database reference to the path users slash UID. Then, I'll set the new user's profile image and email in the database. And there you have it. Time to see this function in action. I'll run Firebase Deploy. I'll head over to the Firebase console, enable email and password authentication, and then add a new user. I'll be super creative with my test email. Now, I'll select the database to see my new user profile entry. There they are. I can see the user's UID and children containing the email and photo URL. I'll click on the photo URL, and you can see the default image since my user record object didn't have one associated with it. Now we have a way of bootstrapping a space in the database for new users. But what about when a user account is deleted? It turns out that Cloud Functions also provide a way to trigger on deletion of a user. So what might we want to do in response to this trigger? I could clean up all the user's data from the database to save space. 
I could also just mark the user as deleted with a flag. In my app, I don't want to lose any data just yet, so I'll take the second option. That way, if the user decides to return, their profile is still configured. So now I'll write a function that is triggered when a user is removed. It will add a Boolean flag to the user's profile, indicating that they have been deleted. I'll define and export a function called cleanupUserData that's triggered when a user is deleted. The event contains a user record object, just like in the onCreate function. I'll get the user's UID from the event object's data. I'll then define a reference to the user's entry in the database using the UID and the admin SDK. Finally, I'll update the reference with the Boolean isDeleted set to true. Let's try out this cleanup user data function. I'll deploy my function once again, then head over to the Firebase console and remove the user I just added. I'll select the database, and you can see that the Boolean flag has been added. Come back soon, test user. So now I have two functions triggered by authentication events, one for when users are added and one for when they are deleted. But there's lots more you can do with Cloud Functions. For more examples of ways to use Cloud Functions, check out the samples on GitHub. You can find the link below. And subscribe to the Firebase YouTube channel to get notified about new Firecasts and other videos about Firebase. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time in a future Firecast.